Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Super Troopers 2, starring J. Chance Rescar, forgive me if I said that wrong, Kevin Heffernan, Steve Lemmy, Paul Soder, Eric Stolhansky, Brian Car Cox, excuse me, Linda Carter, and Rob Lowe, and directed by J. Chandrasekhar. Again, if I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, now, before I get into this movie, I want to say a couple of things. One, the only reason I went and saw this movie, I wouldn't have seen it if it weren't for the R rating. And the second thing is, I personally think sequels to comedies are a terrible choice. Just terrible choice. Like, think of The Hangover, for example. The first one was funny as it was. The sequel? No, 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 no. The two sequels? Yeah, no, I'm not going for that. And after Neighbors 2? No, 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 no. And now with this one? Eh, we'll see what we get there. What we got here. Let's, let's just get into this. We open the movie off with a dream, and all the state troopers have been fired from being local cops after the situation with Fred Savage, and we see them as a band with Trooper Callaghan, played by Stifler himself, Sean William Scott, who was, who was Stifler in the American Pie films, and Trooper Wagner, played by Damon Wayans Jr., and they fuck with the two troopers by testing their... Them with their them smooching up the storm, and they get thrown out and start chasing the wannabe band, and Matt gets shot, and it was just a dream, but that was fuck a fucking hilarious dream in my mind. Captain O'Hagan, returned by Brian Cox, gets thorny, returned by J. Chandrasekhar. Sorry about that, pal. Mac, returned by Steve Lemmy. Foster, returned by F Paul Soder. Rabbit, returned by Eric Stolhansky, and Farva, returned by Kevin Heffernan, back to this being state troopers with an, re, with an opening of Canada, maybe sharing with America, a returning, with a returning of, and I didn't bring this character up last time, last time, Governor Jessman, played by Wonder Woman before Gal Gadot, Linda Carter. I didn't recognize she was in this these movies, but I like these characters back again. And I think they're really funny together. I must confess that right now. After they get back together, they meet Guy LaFranc, played by Rob Lowe. What are you doing here? Aren't you a TV actor? Sorry. And the Canadian State Troopers, and they really hate the American State Troopers, and so do the Canadian civilians. Which, did we never go to war with the Canadians? I'm trying to remember this, but... Like, why do they hate us to death? They sound like the French. Sorry, French people. And Rabbit finds a crush of her life, Genevieve Allboys. Forgive me if I said that wrong. And forgive me if I'm about to say this name wrong. Played by Emmanuel Chiriki. Something like that. Which, I really like these characters. She's... This that character, she's a sweet presence. The shocking on the radio on Farver was absolutely fucking hilarious. Just the way he falls for it twice had me busting up laughing. Thorny's little mustache falls apart, and then they almost shave Rabbit's private pubes off until a bear comes in by the Canadians, and Farver gets the meat out of the hawk with and a hockey stick through the doors and getting Farver covered and shit was really funny but the funniest part was they throw an air grenade and strip the three Canadians naked was just fucking hilarious especially the way they painted them red white and blue was fucking great it was so hilarious when Farva sounds like a damn chipmunk and the same guy in the first film getting arrested and says license to registration meow as in now, in Thor, Thorny and Rabbit speak with an odd French accent, which was hysterical as well. Mac and Farva try to go to the speeder on the road, and Farva drives the car and crashes it, and Mac tries to save him by giving Farva the mouth-to-mouth -mouth thing until Mac gets shocked in the bunghole, and that made me laugh super motherfucking hard. 
The moment when we find out Guy Lafranc is on the state troopers getting getting out of Canada, booed out of Canada, was, and he has goons, and at first we think it's Genevieve is with Lafranc. She betrays Lafranc, and she's an FBI agent, and the state troopers no longer have the land, and the Canadians get to keep it. According to Governor Jessman, and the state troopers and the Canadian troopers fight, and they think they can boss each other around. Meanwhile, Farva chops his pinky toe off and mixes it in a blender with other fruits as a smoothie after the credits. I was like, fuck me, that's gotta fucking hurt. And the bloopers during the credits on the end of the movie is absolutely really funny. And there's one more scene I didn't get to write in my notes, and that is the Fred Savage cameo. Well, the scene why they got fired in the first place, it was a ride-along, and then he gets the cat and gets hit by a truck, which that was, that was strange, but in a way it was really funny. I'll give him that piece of comedy. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 7.4 out of 10. This movie is hilarious, but not as good as the first movie, might I add. But I still had a good time with, with it, and I like the characters back together. They work so well together and so fun together. The most entertaining sequel to a comedy yet to date. So thank you guys for joining me for Super Troopers, and until next time, freeze your under arrest.